talk of the men's marathon in Uganda and a name Stephen Kiprotich pops up. On top of winning the 42-kilometer event at the 2012 Olympics, he only became the second marathoner after Ethiopia's Garthen Abera to follow up that feat with a gold at the World Athletics Championship. Ran away for a fantastic gold medal. Uganda had only won one before in any sport. As Kiprotich prepares to appear in his third straight Olympic Games, he is not in doubt that he has his work cut out. Most of the races we have been running, you know, see like end of the race, if you run like today's race, it is the beginning of the next race. So uh, from my experience, you two, so many marathons have competed and also in various conditions. But I should say this marathon which is coming up is almost similar to most of the competitions I've been running. And, uh, I'm seeing it uh, as, an, uh, as an advantage for me, running so many marathons. In a world turned upside down by the COVID-19 pandemic, Kiprotich says training itself has come at a great cost. Now, uh, my preparations this year, uh, I should say I've been preparing well, but maybe because of uh, this other pandemic, which is hindering us from training from various places, because we used to move from place to place. But, but for now, I should say uh, my training is going on well. And uh, yeah, I've been training well and looking focused. The games. Still only 31, Kiprotich will lead a relatively young team of Fred Musobo and Felix Chemonges in Sapporo. Kiprotich believes his presence at the Games is an inspiration to the young generation. Right now, if you look at in the world ranking, I think I'm ranked top 50. Is and it? being top 50, it doesn't stop you from winning a medal. Like Chapter Gay who has declared his intention of featuring in Paris 2024 games, Kiprotich says people should not be quick to write him off. Colin Zimwez, NTV Sport.